Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of All Ball Chicago. I'm your co-host Robert Bobby Reed, and I got the legend, the NBA veteran, the McDonald All American. Your host Mark is living in the building. What's up, Marcus? What's up, my beautiful people? <laughs> and we got a special guest in here today. One of the point guards from Chicago. I saw him in Chicago State body bagging people in the 80s. Did his things at Phillips High School. I Went on to Wisconsin. Did his thing with the Loyola. Ripped up Chicago. Give it up, man, for Carl Ghosting, man. What's go, up, go, boy? Go, go, baby. <laughs> What's happening, y'all? Hey, just glad to be here, man. Y'all doing some beautiful things for the uh, fellas here in Chicago, man. So I'm just glad to be on the show, spread a little love, talk a little history, talk a little, you know, whatever we're going to talk. That's right. Yeah. Man, Carl, hey, let's just, let's just jump right in, man. You know okay. how we do it, man. Like, who put that rock in your hand, man? I mean, you, you did a lot of damage in Chicago, and a lot of people probably don't remember you. So that's why we started this show, mm -hmm. to get people back updated on our legends, man, the guys right. who, who, who paved the way for a lot of us, you know, including myself. Right. So who put the rock in your hand, man? Well, you know, when you when you when you start off, you know, growing up in a project like me and you did, you know, you um, it's a neighborhood thing. So you find out what sport you're good at. Um, fortunately, I was good at all sports, particularly. Um, so um, later on, about third, fourth grade, you know, um, I met a guy uh, named Bill Junior. Too many people don't know about him, but he was ice cold. Played for the Junior Trotters at that time, right? So at that time, I'm dating, fifth, fourth grade, I'm dating Ronnie Lester's sister, right? So it was Bill Jr. and Ronnie that, that caught my eye into the game. You know what I'm saying? So um, I started following them, seeing what they was doing, going in the gym behind them. Um, then they introduced me to Michael Clark. So they playing for the junior trotters. I'm in fifth grade at that time, probably. So I start going to their practices as a little guy. They got Ronnie's, Minnesota. I'm just watching all the old guys get down, right? So Clark had a little bitty team. You know, I started playing with Clark. Clark. Clark taught me the left hand, right hands, the fundamentals. But the main man who, like, sent me off to the stratosphere was Chuck Frazier. Chuck. You know, I, I, um, after a couple of years playing with the Trotters from – fifth, sixth, seventh grade, seventh grade, I went to Douglas. Um, and Coach Frazier, he had Ronnie at Douglas, Robert Bird, um, Sherrod, Darius. Wow. It was Raymond. So Douglas was like a farm farm system For to sure. the uh -huh. So that's why the P was so tough because everybody in the surrounding areas, here your home, where you from, Ickies, PCs, out of be well, state way, 39, 37. Mm -hmm. You know, if you played for Douglas, you had talent. And right. that, that was just the bottom line. If you didn't play for, for Douglas, you had talent, then you probably didn't have some other stuff, you know, the smarts or whatever, whatever that Mr. Frazier was looking for. Mm -hmm. But after that, um, just just being there, um, Mr. Frazier like broadened my game because at the time, if you're not intelligent and smart, you can't play for Chuck Frazier. Because when I was in seventh, eighth grade, we had 100 plays. Grammar, <laughs> schools, grammar schools wasn't running plays. If you ask anybody that played Douglas back and we, we was picking and rolling, calling out plays. Wow. And, you know, they it wasn't, other coaches right. wasn't teaching people that type of fundamentals. So right. if you had skills and talent at the same time and learning fundamentals like that, then you just you know, blossom into a great player or a mediocre player or whatever player you decide that you put in the work for. So um, I'm going to credit Mr. Frazier right. on the back with, with everything, you know, with me because he he cuffed me, treated me like a son. You know what I'm saying? Um, seventh grade, um, going up to Phillips, playing against Lewis Raymond in seventh grade. Sherrod, Sherrod Darius in seventh grade. I'm competing in seventh grade. Tyrone Bradley, seventh grade. Eighth grade, I'm trying to get him the business. <laughs> in eighth, I'm serious. In eighth grade, I'm trying to really get him the business. So um, my first experience with them far as, as a whole, 
um, eighth grade, you know, after you graduate, I played varsity in the summer league, Old Town Boys Club, you know, cause Darius a break, Darius would go down south for the summer, Sherrod, Truly, they know, they know, them they know when I say Darius and Phillips, they know what I'm yeah. talking about. Mm -hmm. So um, I started playing um, varsity in eighth grade, summer league, eighth grade against all the, you know, the Craig Hodges, the, all the names, the Eddie Hughes, the Isaiahs. I'm in eighth grade getting this experience. You know what I'm saying? So my right. freshman year, we track it forward to my freshman year. Um, they had just started the, the first city champions, far side championship, my first year at Phillips. We beat Simeon for the watch first out, boy, for the out. first city championship in the warehouse. <laughs> in the warehouse. In the warehouse. On the rubber flow. <laughs> On the rubber flow. <laughs> On the rubber yeah. flow. Yeah. So um so Mr. Fra at this time, Mr. At this time, Mr. Frazier is eighth grade coach, Fossa coach. Mm -hmm. So so that transition was real easy for me because one, I had the heart, two, I had the skills, three, I had the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And it it took hard to go up against Sherrod, TB, Truly. Y'all don't y'all probably don't even know Truly's name, William Smith. Dangerous. No. Nope. First Joe Goro and the uh, Dangerous. And, so and Joe, so and that part was our freshman year. So um I go to summer league that year, chill them. TB like you ready. One no more so far so. TB was like you ready. I say, you think I'm ready? He said, You ready. So I moved up to varsity, started my sophomore year, you know, start hooping sophomore year. Um, my four years, my four years in high school in the Red Central, and I'm 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 gonna tell you something you probably don't even know about, right? My my four years at Phillips in the Red Central, I lost four games. What? Dang. In the Red Central. Damn. All of them was to King. Wow. Did no other school beat me in the Red Central in my high school career? What? But wow. King Robertson, Inglewood, Dunbar, DuSabo with the Stefan um, Butlers. Nobody, none of them, no school beat me in the Red Central, but King. <laughs> Period. We was 10 and 1, 10 and in 1. Four years. Matter of fact, King beat me twice my senior year. Wow. We we was going through a transition. We was getting in transfers. No, we play, we get the guys that we normally be getting. We try some transfers coming from out of town, messed up the team chemistry, which I love the guys now, but we I can speak the truth now. But I didn't like it at that time. But that's what it was. Coach say we make a decision, we make a decision. So um it was I mean you might not remember the Grays brothers, Marcellus Grays. Yeah, I remember them. They came in my senior year. Right. From Kansas City and like disrupted the cohesiveness that we had from my junior year. Uh, you know what I'm saying? See, my uh, junior year, my junior year, a lot of people don't remember this. Well, some do who was playing. We went to the amphitheater. And matter of fact, all my all my four years, either I won a championship my freshman year, sophomore year, I went to the final four. They twisted to DePaul, Western House beaters with Bernard Randall and Michael Jenkins. My junior year. We go to the amphitheater. Whoa. We lose in a triple overtime to Collins and Paul Bean, Kenny Slater. Ooh, Paul God. got the DVD now. Ooh. Paul got the DVD now. <coughs> I gave him 38 and then playing no triple overtime. Go, go. You gave him 38. I gave him 38. <laughs> Dang. No triple over. I didn't play. Danny Crawford, I'll tell him right now today, he fouled me out in the fourth quarter. He was reffing. West side of referee at wait, that wait, time. Wait, wait, wait. You, know, you know how you know how oh. you know the conspiracy theories be when you playing <laughs> this referee <laughs> over there. This referee, Danny Crawford we called a foul on me in the fourth quarter. We came NBA at you. Danny Crawford on the fourth quarter. Uh -huh. I finished the game, thirty eight. Then play first, second, or the third quarter. We lose about one point. But Carl, Carl, we came that you just they spill over like that, man, with the thirty eight. Yeah. You, it wasn't even no three point line. See, that's that's another thing. I don't even want to get into not playing with a three point in my whole career. See, when I even when I was in college, the year I transferred 
from well, we we jump in here. The year, the year I went transferred from Wisconsin, they brought in the three. Oh. I was supposed to 82, 83. They brought it back. The following year, they took it out. The remaining of my career, then brought it back when I left left college. How lucky was that? Oh, <laughs> for, 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 for opponents, right? Because right. you know most of my shots was top of the key back. I come across half court and shoot it sometimes if I felt it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's another story. You know what I'm <laughs> that's, that's another story. You know what I'm saying? So and, but, um, but because you put you put in that work, man, at the P. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You put in yeah. that work at yeah. the P. But let's let's talk a little bit about that situation, how you ended up in Wisconsin. Oh, okay, okay. You know, okay, my um uh, my senior year, and I, I'm going to tell you a story leading up to that, right? So my senior year, we was ranked one, two, three. You know how the preseason come out. It's right. us, Quincy, us, Quincy, and Lincoln Way, right? They got Dan Duff, Quincy got Michael and the Douglas brothers, yeah. and, and, and it's me, right? We go down to Quincy, right? Playing their thanks, famous Thanksgiving tournament. They got the Devils, the the, the tombstones, but it's blue and white, so I'm feeling at home. <laughs> right, you know right. what I'm saying? That's the so um, we lose to Quincy, right, mm -hmm. for the championship, right? So if 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 King got a tournament, a Thanksgiving <laughs> tournament at King, and y'all win, who gonna get MVP? If you're on the team, you right? Quincy them beat us. And they Thanksgiving <laughs> tournament, and I got MVP over Bruce, over Bruce and Michael Payne. Wow! Because I, I I broke all the records there. They had a I had established a new scoring record in they in the arena, and they cheated us. You know what I'm saying? Because you weren't getting out of Quincy with no win. I don't care who you was, unless right. you dominated them. If it's close, ah. Right. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you know, it's gonna be a tic tac something you're gonna you're gonna lose. Mm -hmm. So right. you know, but other than that, going back to the Wisconsin lick, um basically, you know, I got recruited. I went to the far damn, I'm I didn't I just jumped over. I'm talking so much, Mark, I didn't I didn't jumped over some shit, right? <laughs> hey, hey Mark, is this the guy that didn't want to talk, right? <laughs> But y'all telling me y'all telling me to let this let it out now. I really don't this want type to do of this. stuff I, I, really I don't just hold. They I don't be talking this stuff now that I'm, now that I'm old. I talk about it. But uh, but anyway, um, you know uh, you know the experience I'm finna talk about, right? So uh, you 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 get to go to Five Star, right? Right, right. in Pittsburgh. Right. You know about that one, right, Marcus? The top, Cox, top, Cox top players Cox in the country. Would a, Cox wouldn't let me do that one, man. Oh, he, oh he, my God. Now, 81, 81, class of 81, got to be next to the 79 with Teddy Grubbs, Isaiah, Terry um, Terry Cummins, Daryl Walker, Antoine Walker, Cliff Leviston, all of them, they 79. Wow. I was, 80, I was 81. I was 81. Daryl Walker, Daryl Walker. Antoine Walker, I know what I'm talking about. Antoine oh, Walker, yeah, yeah, class yeah, yeah. of 79, yeah, 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 yeah. and Cliff Leviston. But anyway, oh, so oh, we down in Five Star, right? Me, Enos Wadley, Sam Vincent, Whoa. Eric Turner, Aubrey Sherrod. So you know when you go to Five Star, if anybody went to Five Star, for, like before the All-Star game, they tell you what All-American team you're on. Oh, so y'all remember Street and Smith, Street and Smith, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Street and right. Smith pulled out the, the All American teams, right? You feel what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, this is before I seen it year. They got the preseason All American teams out there me, Enos, Eric Turner, Sam Vince, Aubrey Sherrod. So, Michael Jordan there, right? So, MJ, MJ, that's why I tell people I've been knowing MJ since we've been 17. MJ wow. wasn't even in the top 100. What? You feel me? Wow. He wasn't even in the top five in North Carolina. They had this kid named Buzz Peterson, um, Buzz. Linwood Robinson, <laughs> um, um, two more kids from North Carolina Buzz ranked in front of Buzz Mike Peterson. at this time. Buzz Peterson's a shooter. Me and Mike get close. Me, Mike, and Enos. That was my, that was my, 
and this and this kid name he's a he's a renowned surgeon now named Dan Ivankovich played at Northwestern right he was another kid that came from Illinois so that was we hung out together you know what I'm saying so um remember um y'all had this kid named Joe Ward Joe Ward up in Joe Ward played for the University of Georgia Anthony Jones that got went to um that the end up with the Bulls that um went to Georgetown he was the number one forward in the country. Mike wow. tore his ass out. Wow. So, so when, when we leave the camp, when we leave, when we leave Five Star, Michael the number one player in the nation. I'm the number one point guard in the nation coming out of Five Star. Damn. Me and, oh. and Enos, 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 Enos tell people all the time. Other than other than me and Enos, and he the only one I really. Eric Turner was decent, real. Eric Turner was crafty. Real, real crafty. Aubrey Sherrod, the Bulls end up drafting him. Garbage, Wichita. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Sam was mediocre. He, I think he was leaving, living off Jay at that time for me. You know, he was mediocre. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. One way straight. You know what right. I'm saying? I, I tore ass in all of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and got the best right. point guard, got the best point guard in the country, leaving five star. Mike got the MVP, and then at the end of our senior season, Mike jumped in front of Patrick Ewing as the number. Patrick was number one player unanimously. Uh -huh. My junior year throughout our senior year, Mike jumped in front of him at the end of our, at the end of our senior year. You know, I was in the twenties, twenty some somewhere around up in there, some somewhere up in there. But mm -hmm. um, so the recruit when 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 I lost to Collins in the triple overtime. Ray Meyer tells me I need a commitment in November, right? And I, I would have went there if, if he wouldn't have said that because I really want to play behind, you know, learn from Clyde at that time, coming right. from Chicago and Mark and Teddy and Terry was there. I'm mm -hmm. gone, but he, like, put the pressure on me, didn't want me to do no trips. You, forgetting about that you, you know what I'm saying? Him and Cofield, him and Bill Cofield, who was the coach at Wisconsin, was sitting in the little mezzanine. Uh -huh. And they came down after the game, boom. Kofi hugged me like, you coming to Wisconsin. You know what I'm saying? But what a lot of people don't remember, uh, when I when I made my decision, I went to Purdue. Oh. I chose Purdue with Russell and Keith um, Keith Stalling. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I chose Purdue. But Mr. Fraser put the brakes on me. Wisconsin <laughs> came with that, with that bag. <laughs> Tell it, man. <laughs> you did? Hey, that's Tell it, man. man. That's Tell all right. It, that's, 30, that's, 30, it, that's 30 years ago. Tell it, man. That's 30 years ago. I thought this was my interview. I thought this was my interview. I ain't got the sugar coat, nothing. It is what it is. Wisconsin came in and I, I did what I did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, that's what it is. The coach dead. The coach too now. Uh, hey, it's coach not, hey, yeah, hey, coach hey, hey, Bo Ryan's still around. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that, that, that's what it was. They came with the bag. I'm, I'm going to Wisconsin. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, um, matter of fact, um, if I had signed this, what this was the lick was at Wisconsin. Cokefield was like, um. If you sign, I got Corey. Corey ain't coming unless you come. Corey Blackwell. Brad Sellers ain't coming unless you come. Jerry Reynolds ain't coming unless you come. You know what I'm saying? So everything was dependent on if I sign, then everybody come. Wow. You know Man, so, hell of a so, so um I talked to everybody. I talked to everybody. That's what that's what we're gonna we're gonna all sign together. That's what we're gonna do. Cause I had to get a commitment from Corey. But Corey was waiting on me. I'm waiting on Corey. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So we all we all um, got up on the phone. He was calling each other back and forth. And everybody said, yeah, we're signed. But you got to sign first. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, um, y'all probably <laughs> got Elroy Hirsch used to play for the play football for the Los Angeles Rams was our AD. He come up in the projects. So I know it was huge. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I signed, mm -hmm. Corey signed, Brad signed, Ice Reynolds signed. We shoot the West. Before we go to school, we got the we got the second best recruiting class. Right. 
in the country behind Georgetown, Patrick Ewing. They had Billy Martin, yep. um, Anthony Jones, um, you know, uh, they had all them guys. So with Patrick, anyone, they was going to be number one. But Billy Martin and Anthony, Anthony Jones was, he went, Mike, Mike, Mike fucked him up, but he wasn't no shabby person. You know what I'm saying? He was, right. he was sick. He was slick. Right. And uh, so we had the um, second best recruiting class in the country go to Wisconsin. Now the state of Wisconsin think we finna compete with Bobby Knight, Lou Henson. Um, um, what was the what was? Michigan look, we, we got we got um uh, we got um. Minnesota had a crew. They had um, they had Trent Tucker. They had um, Randy Brewer. Uh huh. Um, y'all had Derek Hopper, um, Craig Jackson, um, Perry Range. You know right. what I'm saying? So they expected us freshmen to compete. You know what I'm saying? Now that he had left, cause he wants. He, yeah, he he had left. But um, they had it was so much high expectation on us just because of the recruiting class came out as number two. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and it was ah. a, it was it had to be a it had to be a learning process which they didn't understand. Cofield did because he told us in the sophomore year, our junior and senior year, we'll probably take over the team. You know, mm -hmm. that's after you know Ted um um Ted, Ted Kitchens and um what's the um Randy Whitman. They was at Indiana with um Demetrius Brown. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, so. We had to we had to take our licks and we did you know what I'm saying um made freshman all Big Ten um started um I just started mm -hmm. like the first maybe I say about three games mm -hmm. you know about the first three four games then started after that um so the end up end up as soon as the season was over with they fired fired Cofield. Oh. So, so I was prom. I don't know what they was promised. I was promised he'll be there my four years. Oh, okay. So I'm out the door because too much shit tied up now. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking? I got right. to go because <laughs> that shit guaranteed now. You know right. what I'm saying? Y'all ain't finna cut my legs off of my family. I got, I got to go. So right. I told Corey, um, Brad right. said he gonna break out. Jerry Ice Reynolds said he gonna break out. Corey said I got to stay up there. Yeah, I'm gonna go hardship. Oh. You know, that was his mind, that was his thought process, and he did it. I'm looking at him like sophomore year, what are you talking about? But he did let the tennis go on and rebound it. Hmm. Um, he was competing against mm -hmm. um remember um my guy from Ohio State, um Tony Campbell. Tony Campbell, yeah. He beat, he beat Tony Campbell out scoring and rebounding, and he got he went he got drafted what first in the second round of Seattle. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So Corey State. Brad went, to, went back home, Ohio State. I came home to Loyola. Ice went to LSU. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So we all broke from there. They didn't, they didn't want to give us a chance to, like, groom us. You know what I'm saying? They, they like all these hot shot freshmen. Right. We want to be Bobby Knight. We want to be Lou Henson. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't happening that freshman year. It was, it, right. man, it was right. the 10 is, <laughs> you, even get, you even get recruited to play in the 10, you know you own something. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that was the goal to go to the right. Big Ten. I went there. You know what I'm saying? So I had a choice of schools to attend to when I left. But it was either at that time I had a I had a baby. Um it's either I go to um USC with, with Coach Ravlin. Yeah. Or or, mm. or come home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm like California or Chicago. No, right. I'm going home. You know what I'm saying? So the, right. the, the thing, right? I'm, I'm I'm in the projects, we kicking it, we playing, hooping. And I, I run into Al on State Street. He working for Budweiser truck at the time, you know, the little summer jobs. Right. He was like, Man, come on, man. You come, we go, man, come on up there. We hoop every all summer. Come on up. I said, Yeah, I'm going to hoop up. I'm just going to hoop. Right. And I, I saw how Sully had them boys. I say, shit, I came home to my mom, I'm going to Loyola. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And he was wide <laughs> open. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. Right. yeah. But that's how it, that's how it happened. That's yeah, how you... that's how it happened. Went then, and the rest was history. Dang. A lot of people don't. And see, how many points you scored in four in three years at um Illinois? How many total? She had total. probably she had probably six, probably five hundred. <laughs> no, how many? You played three years, right? 
No, I only played two years there. Oh, you only played two? Yeah. Damn. Remember, remember, I didn't play my freshman year. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so you know, you know this the score the score a thousand points in your four years is some big time shit, right? No doubt. No doubt. How many think I scored in four years, Marcus? Shit, man. I, I would I would definitely have to say, man, about 15, 1,800. 2, what? 2,500? What Rob say? He said 3,000. No, Rob, that's our Frederick. <laughs> 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 you talking about some, you're talking about some Al Frederick shit right now. <laughs> that's Al, man. <laughs> that's Machine Gun Kelly, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, at, at Loyola, you know, only played three years. Right. I put seventeen hundred up at Loyola in three right. years, plus my plus my three hundred at Wisconsin. Um, I'm probably the only, I'm probably one of the few point guards in NCAA history that got two thousand points and a thousand assists. Wow, wow! You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nathan Nation in assists. I remember. You know what I'm saying? I remember that. And, and 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 everything leading everything leading to the league, but it don't happen going to the league. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it ain't it ain't like the work I put in wasn't sufficient. You know what I'm saying? So um, right. I'm, I'm gonna get to that. So so my 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 junior year after my junior year, right? They pick a U.S. national team. Mm -hmm. Right, we go try out. They put everybody on the court. Now, put me, put me on the court with twenty people. I'm coming out. Right. I'm, I'm coming up out that bunch. I don't care who it is, where they at. I'm coming up out that bunch. So we 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 go to Fresno. Right. Mm -hmm. So I play for I play for the blue, red, white, and blue. I get picked for the U.S. national team. Right. Mm -hmm. Guess who I guess who I starting five is. I'm gonna blow your head. Go ahead, go ahead, man. I ain't gonna even guess that. Go, just tell us. Center David Robinson. Oh. Power forward Larry Kostoliak. Oh. You remember Larry Kostoliak? Uh -huh. Played yeah. Rock. Yeah. Small forward Chuck Person. Oh, Damn. Nice. Number two guard Dale Curry. Ooh. Point guard me. Ooh. We Damn. Had a, we, had a, we had a we had a a a, a, a line out on the team too. Doug Altenberger. <laughs> Doug made the team. Doug came up there shoot. Hey, he was shooting with Dale. He was shooting it. Man, he was shooting with Dale. You know what I'm saying? Dale, Dale just had what Dale had was that release. Um, Doug had to plant his feet. Dale oh didn't have God. to plant his feet. You know what I'm saying? And, and they used to go at it. Me and Dale was roommates. You oh know what I'm saying? We go over to Barcelona. We go over to Barcelona. We end up, I think we finished like we didn't even know we didn't even get no bronze we finished fourth um dredging petrovich fucked us tore our ass in our hole it's just yeah he gave us 50. damn dredging petrovich he gave us 50 in barcelona he gave us 50. whoa 38 at halftime <laughs> i'm talking about dropping it over david dipping me backing me up Doing Dale, you know <laughs> what he wanted to do. I I I couldn't believe it. I was like, no, nah, these these ones was older than us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, ain't, they ain't playing, they ain't playing like this. These have to be a grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, that that kid was amazing. You know what I'm hey, saying? So Damn, he was, he was giving yeah. people the buckets back then. Yeah, yeah. So you know, just moving forward. Um, um, I, I work. No, um, the Loyola stuff is just is is it is what it is. We had a great team. Um, all I know is they never won twenty games until I got there. They was always stuck on 18, 19, 18, 19. Even when Darius was there, nineteen and twelve, eighteen and thirteen. You know what I'm saying? When I got there, with 20, 22, 28. Wow, you know what I'm saying. So, so oh, me, me, Ray, and I probably was the best trio that they ever had. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Far as our average thirty, Ray average twenty four, our average twenty, wow. with ten assists in one season. You know what I'm saying? We That's knocked nice. off, we knocked y'all off twice. 
with Afro Man, Ooh. Big George, and Bruce. Yeah. Um, we knock off DePaul twice with Kenny Patterson and so Common Jesus. So you guys were the Chicago team back oh, then. Oh, absolutely, back then. Oh, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But you Ooh. know, De DePaul just had more recognition. But when it got down to the nitty gritty, you know what I'm saying? We handled the business. Knocked mm. off Louisville with Milt Wagner, Billy Thompson. You know what I'm saying? Um, only team that really gave us the business that year was Wayne Tisdale now. Oklahoma. Boy. Wow. The Man. score was 156 to 132. Oh, Damn. So in Oklahoma. Y'all were running then. The score was what? 156 to 132. Me, Al, and Ray had thirty, Damn. but that was that we could we could have scored forty apiece and couldn't get them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They had the, they had they had David Bowie. Wow. Um, David Bowie, um, McAllister, the the guard, McAllister. They had a crew. Them, them, they was tough. They was tough. They was tough, man. Wow. You know what so, I'm saying? So, so, so you played there. You, you, you oh. did the thing. Y'all got to the Sweet 16, right? Got to the Sweet 16, ran back into Patrick. I played against Patrick. We had a Chicago All-Star team, right? Boston, you remember Boston Shootout? Yep. Uh -huh. Boston Shootout. We go down there. We get to the championship. Patrick, um, Ed Pinckney, um, David McClain, um, all of them. We, we lose to them. We lose to them in the championship. Um, that was like our senior year. So we, we, that's why I was talking so much shit to them. Cause they knew, they knew we was coming, play with y you know what I'm saying? So we get there, we could have, even without having a subpar game, we could have beat them. It was just a matter of that big fella. Yeah. That, that big fella, man. He, hard, we, hard we had him at halftime. We up by like five, six at half. I think it was up at eight at halftime. He turned on a switch. You know what I'm saying? Like he was ready to go, in, like he was in New York somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that, yeah, the college career was sweet. You know what I'm saying? Then my senior year, it was, everybody had left. I had BJ, Bernard Jackson, I had Andre Moore. And not, not that everything is bypassed, I wasn't smart. You know what I'm saying? That's the mm -hmm. general and the point guard. You know what I'm saying? Because um, all the noise was I should have left without them, which I could have because I was eligible. And I had people, you know, I, I had the people at me, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I'm going to stay, you know what I'm saying, do an extra year because my class was really 85 because I came in at 81. So I could have left. It wasn't a hardship. Everybody kept thought it was a hardship. But right. I, I could have left with, with Al and Ray if I choose to. It wouldn't have been a hardship because I sat out of here. Right. You know but I'm listening to all the noise stay. Mm -hmm. And then I had some advice from some gyms to stay. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I did. Um, Tell that, man. Um, so like that summer. After after. After the, the U.S. national team, Sports Illustrated came in. Mm -hmm. Right. They did a layout on me on the lakefront. Right. So they had all the top top guards for the upcoming season, which was me, Kenny Smith, Mark Price, Pearl, Pearl, Johnny Dawkins. Damn. Damn. Um, me, Kenny. Was it Enos? No, Enos had went hardship. Let me tell my story. <laughs> um, me, shut your garden, shut your <laughs> me, Johnny, Pearl, Kenny Smith, Mark Price. It'll come back. I don't know. That's some so, serious ass company, there, bro. Yeah, that they, they did a layout, right? So my layout was on the lake front in my Loyola shit. Um, what a lot of people don't know, right? So my senior year in, in college, though, right? Mm -hmm. I had I had I had a choice between two um, gym shoe apparels, Loyola or Converse, but Puma came at me. And then uh, what a lot of people don't know, Spalding had came out with a gym shoe uh -huh. back in the day. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, I went with Spalding, you know what I'm saying? And like Sully let me. They almost looked like Converse, you know what I'm saying? I was like, Sully, man, you can't stop, the, you know, me from eating. 
right. you know what I'm saying? So he he'll let me slide them in because I can change. They had these um colors you can slide them in, and they changed the colors on them. You know what I'm saying? So I put the maroon, the maroon in there, or the yellow in there. You know what I'm saying? So um. I, I, I had an apparel contract with Spalding in college. A lot of people don't even know that. No. Yeah, yeah but I could have had. I, I thought had, I was just going to stop. Huh? What you say? No, that's what I was going to say. Like, can you hear me? Yeah. No, that's what I was going to say. He had a contract. You had a shoe contract in college? Uh, apparel. Yeah. It, it was It was like for cash. Apparel. apparel. You know, they give me what I need. You apparel. Know, I know right. money. Right. You know, just the apparel. You know right, right, saying? right. So, That's so um, I, I went with Spalding all all the way to the end, right? So, um, my senior year don't go like it is. We 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 end up losing. Um, if we win the um MCC, we go to the tournament. Byron Larkin give give BJ fifty. Oh wow! Remember Byron Larkin? He did because he was a, he was the two guard. He I wasn't sticking him. He gave him fifty. <laughs> In Indianapolis, yeah, he gave us fifty, bro. Um, Barry Barry Larkin's son, y'all, Barry Larkin's son, Byron Larkin. Yeah, so he give, he give. Okay, I'm gonna take that back. He gave us fifty. I watched it. He gave us. 50. I'm talking like Mark now. I want to talk like Mark talk. You know what I'm saying? He gave, he gave us fifty because I wasn't sticking him, but he gave us fifty. They end up beating us by like maybe like three. Um, in Indianapolis, in the um, you know, in the field house. Right. Um, so after that, I'm gearing. I'm gearing for the league. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Cause it what what you probably know and people that 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 was um getting ready for the league. The league is like 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 you coming out of high school to college. Like your letter intended. Everybody that's interested in you send you them letters. Right. The NBA send you them questionnaires. Right. So 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 at this time at this point. Uh, it might have been 24 teams, 25 teams. Then I only didn't get like two questionnaires. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I hmm. did the I did the paperwork on the questionnaires for all right. the teams to prepare. Woo, woo, woo. So it's um it's they either either you either gonna go if you go to Portsmouth and you and you do well, you ain't gotta go to the Hallelulu Classic or nothing, you good. Right, right, but pre-camp draft. I'm home. I want to come to the pre-camp draft because I'm home. You, I'm uh, home. I got to host this. Y'all in my town, right? So I go to Portsmouth. Um, um, Dick Mata, first one come to me. Dick Mata, my hand. Dick Mata tells me, in my face, if I'm around. So when you see, you, you know what I'm saying. If you're around, we got the first pick in the second round. And we gonna take. So it. you thinking I'm going? I'm thinking now, nah, see, I'm first round material. Right. right. Might have just told you know what I'm saying. Right. Said, if you're around, come. We got the first pick in the second round. Right. You know who they end up getting? Who? Mark Price. Wow. So check this out though, right? So I talked to at Portsmouth. I, I fared. I fared real, real well at Portsmouth. On tomorrow. Won the consolation championship because you know when you when you lose that first night you go to a losing bracket. Right. Well, my uh -huh. team we come up out the losing bracket, win the championship at Portsmouth. You know what I'm saying? It's 80, 80, 80, 86, right? So um, a lot of GMs hit me up, talk to them, coaches talk to them, talk to them, talk to them. So I come home. Now I got to make a decision. I say, I say, damn, do I train hard and just you know, cause Andre Wakefield was like training me then, you know what I'm saying? Champ, he training me. So I'm mm -hmm. like, I, I got to put my all into this cause I got these kids and I got married in college, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So now I got to put my all into this, right? So mm -hmm. I withdraw from school, right? Uh -huh. I said, I'm all in. I go all in, I'm working out, doing what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? So Sully called me, Coach Sullivan called me and say, um, Marty Blake called. You mm -hmm. know Marty, who Marty Blake is, right? Mm -hmm. So he said, yeah. Marty Blake called you. Come come over to the gym. You know, we got to call him down at the Hyatt. I come over to the gym. I call. It's Marty Blake on the phone. Now, he the NBA super, super scout. 
Mm-hmm. He let he tell you where you're going. Mm-hmm. Right? right. His first words to me is, I proved myself. I'm solidified. I'm good. Wow. He, need, he needs a favor from me. This wow. is his words in Sully office. He says a kid that ain't going to make no all-star teams. But he, he lived here in Illinois, Chicago. We need you to give up your slot because you ain't you can't do nothing but hurt yourself. Wow. This is what this is what the NBA, this is what the super scout telling me. Right. Right. You 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 can't you can't improve no way no more than where you at. You only can hurt yourself, Carl. So I need this slot to get to somebody else so they can see if what what they can do, right? Wow. Immediately I'm in agreement because this Marty Blake. Right. It ain't like no, no, no. Mm. You know, this Marty Blake, he say I'm I'm wow. good, I'm good. Right. You know what I'm saying? So later on that night, my agent called. Holland screaming, hold up, what's going on? You told Marty Blake you, yeah, what the, what's the problem? My agents them go down to the, and I'm gonna tell you the story, This I found this out later, and I'm gonna tell you who told me this later. So my agents them go down to the Hyatt, like, like, I'm, like I'm MJ or Patrick, cussing out Marty Blake. Oh. And guess who, guess who he ended up wanting my spot to go to? Oh, who, who we want to take the spot? You remember Jim Les? Oh, no. Oh, I ain't know that. I'm definitely yeah. saying Jim Les. Huh? Oh. Yeah. So that's, he was like, I, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't about Jim Les. That was the power of Dick Versace. Right. And Tony Baroni. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and, and Jim Les, I didn't ate him. Brad, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't, you know what right. I'm saying? Right. All the all four years, come on, yeah, he can have that spot. Y'all right. trying to give him some? Let, yeah, cool, right? So they go down to the high, big fallout, big fight, everything, everything. People said, people told me Marty Blake was blue, wow. and, and and the last words he told my agent, he ain't no fucking Patrick Ewing. Wow, <laughs> right? So this the word I get. I'm gonna tell you all these names. Since we kicking the bobos and it's 30 right. years, 35 years later, right? So um right. so they got this league called the USBL. Y'all mm-hmm. remember that USBL? Yeah. Yep. So I'm I'm the third pick mm-hmm. in the USBL in 86. Tiny Archibald grabbed me. Wow. Right? So I'm playing for Tiny in Jersey. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um I'm playing there. So it's a press release. It's a press release before the draft. Tiny say, you, you want me to take you down to the draft? I said, no, my wife got that. You know what I'm saying? She 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 got that covered. You know, she'll, mm-hmm. After the game, you know what I'm saying? She'll tell me where I'm at and I, we'll take care of it like that, right? So if we played, I get back to the, um, get back to my crib, call my wife. I'm like, baby, where they, where they got me at? She like, baby, this is seven round. You ain't, they ain't draft you. I said, girl, quit playing with me. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so um, she's like, no, baby. I called back the draft over with. I ain't, I ain't in the draft, right? So I'm like, I'm confused, but, you know, I am who I am. I, you know, I'm where I'm from, so I'm, I ain't finna, like, trip out. You know what I'm saying? So it's right. like answers need to be, I got to find some answers, right? So long story short, the next day, sometime in Tribune, if I wasn't nobody, or it wasn't no expectations on who I was. Sometimes bold letter, tribune bold letter, go, go, goes nowhere. Why? What I do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so in the midst, in the midst of me having a um a Spalding apparel contract, a lot of people don't know this, right? You know how the summer league is NBA sanctioned, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Spalding created a free agent team in the NBA Summer League for me. Wow. Right? In LA. Right? So I go to LA. It's my team. Everybody there know it's my team. I'm It's for display for me. You know what I'm saying? If we win or not, it's for display for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, mm. and the people from Spawn to come and let everybody know this. You know, this is for, you know, we play well. Everybody do what they got to do. This is display for go-go. You know what I'm saying? So we down in LA. Um, so we played, uh, 
Dang, I forgot who we played. I had a I had a good game. So I go in the stands. Now I'm gonna tell y'all the story how I found out. I go in the stands, right? And I see Rod Thorne, Bernie Bickerstaff. Wow. They say, great game, little fella. Just keep your head up and keep doing what you're doing. So I'm trying to figure out why they say that to me. What do y'all know that I don't know? Mm -hmm. What you mean, keep your head up? So they know what happened to me. They know it was some bullshit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so me being who I am, I slid down on them. Hey, what's the deal? Rod and Bernie don't never say this, but it's 35 years later. They say you need to go holler at your ex right. now. And they told me the story, what I just told y'all. Wow. You know and what who, I'm saying? Who, who was representing you? Um, Saperstein, A. Saperstein. Okay. Yeah. Which I should have went with Herb Rudor. Yep. Actually, Herb I should have actually, actually, to be honest, Marcus, I should have went with JoJo White because he was on me like, like a hawk. Really? Man, I should have went with JoJo, but me not knowing what I know now and the connections, even though I know who he, who he is, who he is, I didn't know that the interest keys are the NBA as far as the connections. Right. You know, the, let me get mm -hmm. JoJo. JoJo going to give me a motherfucking job. Exactly. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I should have went with JoJo. Right. You know what I'm saying? But right. hometown boy, hometown agent, trying to do the right thing, stay, keep it all Chicago. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? So um, actually, actually, the day after that, Boston, Boston picked me up, which a lot of people don't know. That was the year that Danny Ains had just signed with them from T Toronto Blue Jays. So he, right. he, he, come, he come to the thing. He don't play, though. We right. got Greg Kite, um, um, the Roberts kid, a um, couple of more white boys. You know what I'm saying? I ain't start. I got to, you know, they let me play. I played like three, four games with Boston. You okay. know, so now I'm thinking I'm going I'm I'm to get invited somewhere. Woo, woo. But, but Marty... And put the put the clamps on my agents for me. Put the clamps on me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, put the clamps on me. So after that, I come home. You know what I'm saying? And and the only thing really saved me from insanity was my neighborhood. Wow. You know what I'm Cause I was I was God to them. I was I was that man to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and me not being arrogant as a young kid. <laughs> thinking I was better than the next player save me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I would have thought I was, if I would have been arrogant, like a lot of players are arrogant, you know, when they coming up, probably would have destroyed my whole life, but I wasn't. I was always humble, always helped my my friends out, always did in my community. So my community saved me, you know what I'm saying? Because I had to constantly answer what happened. Every time somebody see me, what happened? Yeah, and Carl, that's what, I, that's what I wanted to say to you, man. Hey, like, let me let me ask you something. Can no, I ask you something? Hold, yeah. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's enough. That's enough. No, because I was. That's go enough, ahead, man. That's enough for a young man to go crazy for real, man. I, that, I'm if I wasn't humble, right? If I was arrogant, it would have drove me crazy. But I never looked at myself better than my best friend. You know what I'm saying? A, a right. story I skipped over with. I didn't. I didn't let nobody come in and recruit me, and take me out to dinner if they didn't take my friends. Wow. So when I went on a recruiting trip, I went on three unofficial recruiting trips: Purdue, Marquette. Where else I go? Michigan. No. Downstate team. One of them. Downstate team. Whatever. They look. My homies LSU? got to come because they got to experience this with me. Was it LSU? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So when the when the recruiters came in to take you out to dinner, they taking my teammates with me. Y'all ain't taking me out to dinner by myself. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking wow. my starting five. Can my starting five go? Oh yeah, well let's go. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Lovely. So that's I lovely. wasn't I wasn't arrogant when I was when I was young. I just I was arrogant on the court. You know what right. I'm saying? Thought I was better than. Whoever was out there, I was that arrogant, but I wasn't arrogant off the court. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was humble off the court. 
You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me let me ask you something real quick, Carl. Carl, you say you say your agents whoop went down there and whooped Marty Blake's ass? No. <laughs> No, I say that, you know, the verbal talk. <laughs> let, you lost me there. Oh, no, just the verbal talk. Right, okay, the right. Verbal. right. You know, y'all, how right. y'all gonna disrespect the right. man that's, that's, that's setting up the draft? Right, right. He, he's right. a super scout. When teams ain't scouted nobody, they go to Marty Blake. What you think right. about this player? Right. If, if, right. if anybody that's associated or know the NBA know what I'm talking about. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're speaking truth to power now. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So right. and, and, and that's what it was, you know what I'm saying? Right. Marty Blake was like, no, no, you know what I'm saying? And so, so in uh, other words, Carl, you got blackball, man. Damn. In a sense, you right. know what I'm saying? Cause cause when Bernie, when Bernie said that shit to me in the stands, I'm, you know, I, I ain't never, nigga, I scored 21 on the ACT. What, what you right. talking about? You know what I'm saying? That's something else to me. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. But it was like, don't right. ever repeat what I'm saying, but it's 35 years later. They can right. say what they want to say. I'm speaking what I know. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, Marty. Bernie Bickerstaff and Rod Thorne. You know right. what I'm saying? I, I don't know who I just smashed. I think it might have been Lancaster Gordon. Um, oh, the Clippers. I think it was Lancaster. He he was with the, he was with the, um, uh, with the, um, uh, yeah, the Clippers. Lancaster Gordon from Louisville. Yeah. I think I just smashed right. him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jay Humphreys, you know Jay what I'm saying? J went down to Colorado with Tony, yep. Tony, Tony Pewitt. Mm -hmm. Tony Pewitt and Gene Sullivan tells me, oh, you know they got a first round NBA player. Oh, Carl, he gonna get his 30. Who you talking to, coach? <laughs> he ain't getting shit tonight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, X, X T P. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And went down there and gave him the business. Wow. At yeah. They, at they spot. Milt Wagner, the business. Wow. In Louisville, thirty-seven. Milt Wagner. Um, uh, um, the defensive specialist at the Rosemont, Nate McMillan. Him and Chris Washburns give him the business. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? NC State at the Rosemont, give Nate the business. You know what I'm saying? So man. you know it is what it is. You got me open up a lot of shit, done. You got me, man. No, <laughs> got this, this that's you why got me we open want... up a, a lot of shit, boy, because I man. love you, boy. And that's why we wanted you to come on, yeah, man. But, yeah, so, but you know, that's just that's just but see that part didn't drive me crazy. Then you know, um, I'm a, I'm gonna keep it real, I'm gonna keep it real. I don't even know how far to even go with this shit. You know right. what I'm saying? We gonna, we can keep it basketball or we can, you know, whatever. It don't really matter to me. You know what I'm saying? Cause no, no, my, just, my, do, just do whatever my, you My life is my life. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so um after that, um, so so happened, you know, I went down to CBA, but you know, back then when you hooping, the CBA is beneath you when you work that hard, man. You know, for me, for for me, I don't know how no other player felt. The CBA was beneath me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I put in a lot of work, but it was an opportunity. I had to try it. I mm -hmm. went down to Pensacola. You know what I'm saying? Played down in Pensacola, but um, y'all remember um, Marvin Webster? Marvin Webster. The eraser. Yeah. Seattle Supersonics. The eraser. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So he he wanna. He want to make a comeback, right? I'm the last contract. Damn. So, so they waived me for Marvin Webster. What? They waived me for Marvin Webster. Wow. You know, and, he, and he get back in the league, though. Wow. He made a comeback into the league. They, they Marvin Webster came in. He came down to Pensacola. And they was trying to see was he, you know, order, right? was he was he ready? Can he do it? Can he do it? You know what I'm saying? So like after after a minute, they was like, yeah, keep on trying it, Mar 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 So they when they after they had to sign him, then they had to void my contract. You know what I'm saying? So I came home, she had got him. See, I started working for Alderman Bobby Rush, man. Just hey, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? But I still had that glitch. I still had that glitch in my eye. You know what I'm saying, but but Carl, how old how old were you then? This was the same. This all the same time, Marcus. I was just out of college. That's what I'm oh, saying, and you just gave it up like that. 
because well i didn't give it up like that um like i said the dream was the lead for me mm -hmm. and i worked so hard that i i was tasting it mm -hmm. especially when you're playing against ricky green maurice cheeks wes matthews Reggie Theus and you holding your own. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and Ricky and Marisa tell you, holding your own. You know what I'm saying? Wes Matthews running up to Loyola to work out with me. You know, he he helped me. Matter of fact, I ain't tell you that story. Matter of fact, he put the final nail in the coffin for me to go and sign at Wisconsin. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Wes Matthews. Yeah, he he they sent him in and it was a wrap. You know what I'm saying? After he came in the projects, kicked it with me. Ooh, it was a wrap. I'm going to Wisconsin. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because he was from Connecticut. So he thuggish. He down with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going, I'm going to Wisconsin. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully he'll know what to do. I'm sending Weston there on his ass. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So yeah. So that was that was that was my, you know, I, I worked hard, man. Wakefield to tell you, man. I Man, wait, wait. At one point, Wakefield had me because he had to. Man, I'm I'm destroying Wakefield, and he's right. still NBA great shape. I'm right. killing Wakefield, easy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you know, it was it was it was that I I I, I disappointed my people and myself, mm -hmm. not knowing that I didn't have total control over my destiny hmm. you know what i'm saying it was somebody else had control over my destiny that i had to eat up you know what i'm saying so i dealt with it you know what i'm saying but but i i took off i took off a year and then um bobby rush was like he the congressman now you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. he like um you still got that itch he say i tell you what go go work out go play because i had told him i'm getting some interest in some overseas teams he said go on your job just go do what you do so mm -hmm. i went over to new zealand you know what i'm saying i went over to new zealand i uh, went to the championship i couldn't i didn't even play the championship game because my wife's mother had a heart attack the week of the championship so had a quadruple, yeah, had a heart attack. We playing the championship Saturday. She has the heart attack Tuesday. And she besides herself, I got to go. You know what I'm saying? I got two small kids. I, I got to go home. Mm -hmm. Went home, didn't, didn't make the championship. Um, so Oh, let me let me let me tell y'all this story though, right? With my age, dirty motherfuckers, right? <laughs> so, so when I go overseas, right, right, uh -huh. I'm the lowest paid player over in the over in the league. I'm getting these people the business. The general manager from my New Zealand Hamilton team came to me and said, "How well?" Are you and your agents now? Hmm. Me not trying to throw no salt on him. We 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 jiggy. Right. He said that when he requested, when he requested me, they tried to send him Tony Wasinger. What? And he's your agent. He was their agent too. To, uh -huh. They would see what well, you got to do some fact checking on me, baby. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so, so uh -huh. he said, do you know Tony Wysinger? I say, yeah, in Illinois, you know, garbage too. A line not garbage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, garbage. So, uh, but he a good guy. Tony was a good guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking shit. I'm just talking shit. But Tony, Tony was a good guy. I like Tony. But... If if, if 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 he on connected, he know because he had a Saperstein now. Mm -hmm. My agent tells me he requested me. And see, they probably thought I checked out at that time, so they didn't really know. They didn't know I'm I'm down in the gym still, you know, working mm -hmm. out, whatever. Mm -hmm. So they might have thought I mentally checked out. That's the excuse I'm gonna get him. 
But he said they tried to send him Tony Weinstein, and he was like, "What? No comparison in what we was looking at on tape. Wow. We don't want. We told we don't want him. If we can't have him, then we good. We'll go somewhere else. So they 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 sent me. Mm. Right, took anything that they could. The man told the contract up and told me to write my own motherfucking contract. Whoa. 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 My hand to God right now. So now wow. I got I got per diem. I got every win a thousand dollars at home, fifteen hundred dollars away, a thousand dollars for groceries. You know, they give me the car, all that, <laughs> all that. Give me every incentive. <laughs> so I was like the second highest paid over there. Wow. Yeah. So you did your own deal. I did my own deal, cussed them out, and I was done with them. Damn. I don't blame you, man. I don't you know blame what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's so, and that's so crazy, man, that an agent would would take advantage of people like that, man. And that's I'm glad you well, talked well, about Well, 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 you gotta think though, you know. And, and, and I, I, I don't fault them because in their minds to me right now as a mature man, they thought they was fighting for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But you got to know who you fighting. Right. right. You got to know what you're fighting. Motherfucker, I ain't 6'3", I'm 5'10", 5'9". Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So, so they thought they was fighting a good fight. Oh, five, seven? Five, okay. Six. Okay. Six, six five, five. I was talking to Muggsy. Six, four, and four. And four. <laughs> I was talking to Spud, Muggsy, and Michael Adams. Fuck what you talking about. <laughs> so, so, you know, they thought they was fighting a good fight. They didn't, you know, they probably realized it later on that they fucked up. You mm. know what I'm saying? But wow. in that moment, I can't believe that they knew that, that that's what they was doing. Because they got mad at me for saying, okay. Right. Right. They was like, that's our motherfucking job. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's my job to do that. That ain't your, that ain't, you don't do that. You don't represent yourself. Right. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't call y'all. He called my college coach and my college coach called me. And set it up. Come to the office. Right. This Marty Blake. Oh, shit. <laughs> what you, I'm thinking he finna tell me something great, great. You know what I'm saying? A favor. Why, why, why? Not get him a favor and everybody be peaceful. Now I didn't play 10 years in the league. Hey, go go. You think he probably try to kind of sabotage you a little bit though? Who? Marty Blake. M then you hear what Marcus said? Tell him what you I got what Marcus? Black, Black ball. ball. Black yeah. ball. Right. He sabotaged me on account of my representatives. Yeah. I'm saying prior to that, prior ain't, to that, you ain't don't no think point. That Ain't no point guard with my stats that did. I mean, getting drafted. We talking about the, the the career I had in college, man. We talking about just just take my college career, man. Seven rounds. Go yeah. go right. Go go ain't good for seven rounds. Are you kidding me? Right. right. You dig what I'm saying? Seven ten. Are you kidding me? Led right. the nation in assists. Are you kidding me? In Sports Illustrated layout. Are you kidding me? Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, something ain't right. So, 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 hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm, I'm here. I'm doing, I'm, do, I'm doing wonderful things now. I'm here. You know, these, the, my, my guys, right, they heard the story. They, man, you need to tell Marcus this story because we sipping watching the, the bomb bears and shit. You know I what I'm saying? About my and so it was like, man, let Marcus sit. I mean, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But it's a it it is it, it helps because I released it more yeah. than I do my friends, you know what I'm right. saying? Cause you got an audience. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, um, a lot of people don't 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 remember or whatever as far as the new thing. And right. another thing I, I'll be wanting to talk about, they be talking about um like when you grade the this is just me now, and I'll be looking at all the things on Facebook. When you grade and top Chicago players, mm -hmm. right? Everybody's career start from the playground. Mm -hmm. So, so, so if your game don't progress 
from the playground, from grammar school to high school to college, how you the top. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Everybody starts at the playground. Uh -huh. right. right. But if you can't, if you can't do it on the playground, it can't do it in grammar school, in high school, in college, how you the best in Chicago? I'm i mind blowing to me, but everybody had their opinion. Right. You have to, to 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 rate a player from Chicago. You got to have all facets of it. You just can't be no street ball player and say you the best in Chicago. Why it didn't translate to high school? Why you right. couldn't do that on the high school level? Or why that didn't translate to college? Why you didn't do that on the college level? Right. Mm -hmm. You got to look at, you got to see, and and and, and I understand because it's Facebook and it's- um, Barbershop it's, talk. It's, not only barbershop talk, it's territorial talk. Mm -hmm. Meaning my neighborhood, my player who I saw. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. It's territorial. Yeah. So, I so I whoever, whoever remember and know the territory of whatever particular player, it is what it is. Right. But when you judging, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You gotta look at every aspect. You started on the playground. When see when you when you had a fight in the projects between 39 or 37. In 18, you go on 18th and state and sell it. Right. Under the L. Yeah. <laughs> you go up under the L and sell it. You know what I'm saying? For the playground people. Or right. you go on 37 in Anderson Park and sell it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if it don't translate, how could you possibly be the best or one of the best if you didn't do it on every level? Right. You in consideration because you got skills and talent. Right. But it takes a hell of a player to start fourth, 10, whatever, 9, 10, 11, 12, and keep it moving. Right. Yeah. No lapses like the Marcus Liberties. Wow, Carl, man. You man, you, you, you know what I'm me. saying? You got you, you gotta me. take that things to levels. You right? know what I'm saying? And if, if you don't take it to levels, then how you say you one of the best? Man, everything. It's impossible. You... For me, it's impossible. So if 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 I run into like right now, I play in the leagues right now, 50 and over. Still who? anybody anybody in my peer group, you better call them. I'm getting them the business. <laughs> at our age, at our old ass age. Oh, Look at this fat motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> This is my interview. This my interview. And we got you up next, Carl. So, 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 but see, for the playground legends, okay, you playground legends. That don't make you one of the best. See, 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 and, and a lot of people's mixed up. And, and and I ain't even tell you my my my, my main heroes growing up, the ones who like Ronnie Lester. Ooh. love him to death, right? I mimic him. I, I would have went to Iowa, but they had um, Steve Carfino. Steve I'm not competing. I'm not competing with nobody. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you can't, if you can't tell me that's my job, Lou Olson. I can't come to West. I can't come to Iowa. Right. Everything Ronnie did, I tried to do, mimic it. Wow. The socks, the Nikes. <laughs> I put my own fashion to it with the gum in my socks or the flip flops on my thing or thought I was Gus Williams or whatever, whatever. But everything was Ronnie. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then this one, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you about this story. Then when 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 when, when the King saw it was going to be good, Billy has, then he dabbed me. Billy dabbed me, the okay. Prince of the Red Central. Who? Billy Hayes. Oh, okay. he, called you the, he called you the Prince of the Red, the Red Central? And I named you that. You didn't even wow. know. That. No? Yeah. You got, to, you got to pass them names down, and they only wow. select a few. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? Damn. Billy, Billy gave me that name my sophomore year. You the Prince of the Red Central. And I dominated. When he gave me that, that put me on a level to do what he said I can do. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. if you can't elevate your game on every level, how you the best in Chicago? Billy Hass, Ronnie Lester, they the best in Chicago. Wow. Then Mark and Isaiah. Wow. That's oh, it. That that that's the order right there. No, because because you can speak on that because Billy, you, you Billy, 
Ronnie, Big Daddy, and Zeke, I, I be, you know, I be, you know, because I played against them. Right. But I close my eyes. I take any one of them. Right. <laughs> Right. right. You understand what I'm saying? But for me, because now I'm territorial, they from the low end. You That's know right. what I'm saying? Right. Billy, Ronnie is from my neighborhood. Billy across the street, Robert Taylor's from my neighborhood, but he lived in Stateway. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'm territorial again, but they proven territorial. Right. Playground, grammar school, high school, college pros. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Billy just wasn't no playground legend. Right. Ronnie was chasing his records at Dunbar. Right. You know what I'm saying? He went to Northern Illinois. He got the records. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The Bulls drafted him. You know what I'm saying? Played in the ABA. That's levels from the mm -hmm. playground. Mm -hmm. Ronnie started at the playground. Douglas, Dunbar, Iowa, NBA. Right. And we had him on here. He what he said, he was in there 21 years. He got seven titles with the yeah, Lakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my former, that's my former brother-in-law. Wow. My my daughter is his niece. Wow. I'm glad you brought up Billy Harris, man, because we don't get a lot to hear about him. Oh, right, Liv? Uh, like we, well, we, well, we had well, a family. See, see a, a long story short, right? So y'all know the volume shooter Al Frederick was, right? Ooh, I love Al Frederick, right? man. So, so so when he was real off, I said, nigga, we got to go see Billy. Oh. We go down to the extensions. <laughs> what? We go, down, we go down to the extensions. You know what I'm saying? And, and, kick, it with, and kick it with Billy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And when 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 Al leave there and we go back and work out, he may be ten for fifteen. Wow. Fifteen for twenty two. Damn. You understand what I'm saying? It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't champ or Wayfield we go, we go talk to. Nigga, we got to go see Billy. Get right. this shit right. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Man, so, I wish I could have seen Billy, man, in this hate. Man, hate amazing, man. I, I used to, man, I was, I had to be 12, 13. I'm following him to Dr. King's Boys Club, 1975-76. Um, he he wouldn't let me get in the, you know, he had a he had a um limo. He drive kind of like limo back then, you know, Pim and Billy, you know. So, <laughs> so so he wouldn't let me get in the car with him. Him and my brother was best friends, you know, for other reasons, right? So he like get on the green line, get off at Jackson, and I I'll, I'll pick you up from there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm jumping on the green line. I'm going to Jackson Way, said, and then the limo there. We're going to Dr. King's Boys Club. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So you know, it's hey man, it is what it is, man. Man, but 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 Carl, man, you you had a hell of a fucking career though, man. Oh, yeah, but man, I'm I'm Marcus. Check this out, right? So I've been content. I've been pleased because. When you, when you know what you did your, personally yourself, mm -hmm. you can't be helped but content and happy. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't feel cheated. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I went as far as I, the Lord let me go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't in this plan. So everything happened for a reason. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it is what it is, but you can't get nobody. You can't, it's only, it's only a few people that dominated high school like me mm -hmm. in a concession. You won, Jamie won, you know what I'm saying? Isaiah Mark, you know, it's it's just a few of us. Everybody else goes south. I mean, junior, senior, junior, right. senior. Ain't nobody coming in and doing that like that. Freshman right. south and just your name now. You know, I saw you had Kenny Reynolds. I saw you had Kenny Reynolds on your on your show. Right. Look. He didn't miss a high school game of mine, him and Taylor Bell. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not a game. And and he ended up, Walter Downey ended up beating me out for player of the year. Right? Right? Even though he shouldn't have never got double A player of the year, and he was class A player. Right. But, but them people, but them people, but them people gave it to him though, right? <laughs> 
So I don't know if it was Kenny McReynolds thing, even though at that time I did consider myself the best player in the city pre on what I did the previous year. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. On what I did the previous year. I did thought I was the best player in the city. I got city player of the year. B WBMX, player of the year, man of the year. I got all types of player of the years for the city. But Walter Downer beat me out 16-15 in the vote mm. for player of the year. Mm. Who was that? Who was them two people that didn't vote? You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, what? But yeah, no, yeah, I put it, I put in a lot of work, man. You did, man. I can say that now. I would say that back then. <laughs> no, no, no <laughs> yeah, I put did. in a lot of work, man. Mm, you know, so that's why I stay off of Facebook with all them, you know, them people. I don't, I don't like chiming in because you know, it's, I know how people's, you know, their emotions yeah, is. Because yeah, 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 you are getting, you, you, you will lose yourself. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Hey, live, don't touch it either. Yeah, I, I, I sneak and peek and see what they saying and this and that, but. You cannot grade, once again, Facebook, you cannot grade the best players in the city of Chicago without levels. That's right. That's you cannot right. have three, you cannot have two um, um, pro summer league hell of a years and you one of the best ever. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't, you know, and, 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 and that's where it ends. Right. You see what I'm saying? So you have two or three hell of a summer league years and you in the top right, right. impossible where <laughs> your body of work at <laughs> right. you know real. what i'm saying what where the body of work at that's how you that's how you judge ball players i agree you know you can you can it's so crazy to me we can have a player that 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 blew up his senior year Mm -hmm. mediocre in college and go to the pros mm -hmm. and do something and he the greatest ever in Chicago. How wow. the fuck is that? <laughs> How? I'm just that's an example. I ain't saying no player, but right. I'm just saying that's an example. You can't you can't judge like that. It's impossible. All of us, everybody that picked up the basketball started in the playground. Everyone. Everyone, you see what I'm saying? So if you can't make your grammar school team, you garbage. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't make your high school team, you garbage. Mm. So now you hang on to the playgrounds and the gyms, and you work on your game. You work on your game. You work on your game. Ooh, you playing the little, all the little leagues. But yeah, but I'm just saying, you still you you work on it, and and then. That's where it stays for them people, because now they playground legends. I understand the playground. If you want to classify them, classify them as that playground legends. But you, if you ain't got that that overall body of work, you're not in my top. You got so, so. So, Carl, tell us this, man, for some of our listeners out there, right? With basketball the way it is right now, and when you were playing, right? Do you think it's more microwave? type players or is them I'm gonna put it in the oven I'm gonna let it cook and I'm gonna keep working I'm gonna keep working I'm gonna do my thing like you said on the streets doing your thing or you think it's kind of these young players are missing something man they don't have that Frazier that you had somebody that gonna make sure your game was tight see for me I think AAU when AAU got involved it messed the kids up. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. now, now they think they something before they something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. That AAU, so you know you, you get, you're walking around with sandals on and all that shit. What you, what you did? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even though the sandal game is funny to me. You know what I'm saying? But that's the new wave. I, I feel it. You know what I'm saying? What you, what you walking around like you, you know, you can't even do a right. three man weave. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you know, so yeah, it's 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 sugar coated, but the real ones gonna gonna show. Mm -hmm. But that's that's the generational ball we have now, and we got to accept it and deal with it. But the real ones gonna show, and the mm -hmm. ones that not real gonna you know gonna level off. 
Because everybody, that's everybody dream. Everybody dream baseball, football, basketball, to play in that league, man. Mm-hmm. That's all, that's all our dream, man. Right. And then you 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 because you make a team, then you close. Right. Then the, see, and, and another thing that mess with these kids here is the parents. Hey, sis, them parents, mm-hmm. they get too involved. You know what I'm saying? If I was a coach, you, I don't care, you know, because you mark, because I talk to you. Right. But if you don't know nothing about basketball or don't have no sports background, right. you can't talk to me about your child. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How you going to talk to me about your child? And you don't, you know, come on, that's your child. L- let me do my job, right? You're not satisfied with your job, take your son somewhere else. But you ain't finna tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't get that. Oh, man, I want to ask you a question, man. Yes, sir. Why did the P do that to us, man? When every time we played Phillips, we had to go up the fire. <laughs> well, you know, you know, Marcus, first of all, <laughs> first of all, you should have been a wildcat. Yeah, right. that's fine. So, so we're going to start right there first. <laughs> Anything from 18th Street to 40th First Right. It's a wildcat. Right. But you want to be a Jaguar. Right. So you get to get treated like a Jaguar. Right. <laughs> Up the back. Man, I was so pissed, man, going up that fire. I said, man, I'm gonna show you. Hey, my- hey, y'all, y'all lucky they ain't had no people downstairs right. when y'all came down. Right. You know, back in the day, right. back in the day, we had people down there. Right. We had people at the gate when they come. Y'all know where y'all at, because it's gonna be, you know, we had the L Rookers. Right. On post, yeah. you know what I'm saying? GD's yeah. on post, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Everybody, Dale Vikings on post, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it was like it was like it was like this, man. It was like home for me. So I knew. Yeah, I you, yeah, that. yeah. That's you, but but your teammates were scared. And <laughs> oh man, she, oh, man. No, man, hey, I'm with you, man. No, you, man, you ain't with me. Yeah, Phillips, Phillips was tough, man. <laughs> Phillips was tough. People's off the rafters, man. Phillips King was tough too, man. But right. Like I said, I, I lost, I lost four games in the Red Central, man, in, in, in four years, man. And two of y'all, my senior year, man. Man, a hell of a career, man. A hell yeah, of a that's, career. That's, that's nasty. Yeah. Two man, my man. senior year, one my junior year, one my sophomore year. I went undefeated my freshman year. Dang. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's why we that's why we had to get you on, man. Yeah. I'm glad you came on too, man, to share your story, because this is yeah. your story. Not, you know, yeah. you can so, tell your story. Yeah, yeah. King King was my nemesis. They say, uh, is who was your rival, King? Wow. You know what I'm saying? Cause I I ain't in high school, you know, if if you if what really it was it was only one guard that like I had it was it was competition. That was just for like one year because he was older than me. That was Stefan Butler. Steph, you know Steph, was Steph, was, was Steph was the business. Yeah. <laughs> Steph, was Steph was the business. And now, but I only had the, the, the joy of playing against him one year. Uh-huh. I didn't have, I didn't what if I'd have been in the Red Central, I I mean the Red South, I'd have had Darren for four years. Or how many years he, you know, each one of us had played varsity. Mm-hmm. You know, but a lot of people, I forgot to tell you this story. A lot of people don't know. My my freshman year, I went to Simeon for a day. Who was the coach? Who was the coach there when you was there? Brian? You know him? Hambrick. Hambrick. I went. I went. My my brother and sister. My brother and sister was there. Right. So mean? so like in eighth grade graduation, they called out your school. Mass was Simeon. But when uh-huh. I, my first day at Simeon, when I got out, Mr. French was right there. <laughs> <laughs> you, what you doing? <laughs> you done, you done played summer league, woo, this, and get your ass in this, in this, in this station wagon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my first, I went there for one day. Go, uh, go, Bo, Bo Radner went there too, right? Yeah, Bo, Bo Rad went to Limbloom first. Oh. He went to Limbloom first. You know, oh, he was a brainiac. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. He was a brainiac. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, man, I, I love you guys, oh, man. Y'all oh, doing, y'all doing a hell of a thing. Man. I, I, I told you some shit, Bob, you ain't know. Wow, wow. 
Hey yeah. man, straight up, man. I'm, yeah. I'm over here like, <laughs> yeah. damn. See, that's that's truth to power, man. And fact check, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you got you know all that. You know, see, people can tell stories, but you, it, it got to be what it is. You right. know what I'm saying? You, right. You know, so. And you and you here live, so you ain't finna lie. You right here real time. Hey, I wasn't lying when I was little. I always spoke the truth. People didn't like. They like, no, don't say nothing because he finna tell what it how it is. All my life, you know what I'm saying. People know how I am. I'm, I'm gonna give it to you just like this. And you either accept it or you don't. You know what I'm right. saying. So it is right. what it is, man. But, but before we go, Carl, we always like, man, uh, our guests to drop some knowledge to these shorties, man. So what you saying? <laughs> Go ahead and drop some of this knowledge. Oh, 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 for all, for all. Uh, if, if, if a shorty want to get involved for in the all game. the shorties, man, in Chicago mm -hmm. and throughout the country, because this ain't just a Chicago thing, even though it's based Chicago. You know, first things first, man. Love yourself. Love your family. Love your parents, man. All this killing and shit, killing each other, man. We got to slow that down, man. Get an education. Um, Whatever sport you play, basketball, baseball, it's it's not it's it's good to have dreams and goals, but get the education. Right now, I'm in the process. I had started going back to get my uh, my bachelor's, um, so I'm I'm still in the process of that. That's what it's about, man. Cause at the end of the day, you got a million of me: mm. Chicago, Detroit, New York. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of ball players in all sports that don't make you. Got to have something to fall back on, man. Uh -huh. You know, you got to love yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and do do what is right. That's so right. On that note, man, it's 35th Love State Way. No Peace doubt. Out. I love you guys. Yeah. And, uh, oh, ghosting in the building, up. baby. Yeah. Go, go. Wild, Wildcat Nation, baby. Yes, <laughs> sir. Baby. Yes, sir. Man, nice meeting you, man. Finally yes, met you, man. Hey, hey, you talking about you talking about you was a shorty. How old is you? I'm 52. So you was a shorty, and I only got you by five years. Well, I guess that is a shorty back then. Come on now. You in high school, I'm in seventh grade. Yeah, yeah, you a shorty. Yeah, you was a shorty. Yeah, you, you a was senior. A shorty. Man, get that little ass boy out of here. Yeah, yeah, you was a shorty. <laughs> Marcus, how old are you, man? 52? 52. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, 52. That's so my tell, man. Tell, tell, tell Carl, man, we got to get him on too, man. No, so. man, we ain't have no. Hell no. No. <laughs> well, well, well Carl, Carl, got a, Carl got a great story. He got a great story to tell. No, we got we to get him on, yeah, man. He, 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 uh, he a playground legend. Right. <laughs> he, he fits in that category. He a playground right, right. legend. Right. There's three yeah. categories, man. No, but you you fit in that. I see. I see. This <laughs> my story. Three he's, he's, <laughs> he he's a playground legend. I helped the fort. I helped. You know what I'm saying? He's a playground legend. I helped. We gonna give him that respect because he did. Do, he have done damage. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he, he, now he, he, he played in a lot of tournaments. <laughs> won a lot of championships on the on the on that side. Right. You know what I'm saying? But he was garbage in college, in high school. <laughs> he was garbage in college. Y'all only you know, hey, let me, let me, this is my story. Let me you were trying to no, this, this my story. Oh, y'all wait. He, he was, oh, he I was, can't he wait was, to get in, Rob. He was, he was okay. Oh. He was he was okay in grammar school. <laughs> he was garbage in high school. <laughs> he was garbage in college. <laughs> Saying them levels, grammar yeah. school, <laughs> old, trying to figure it out. High school, garbage. <laughs> right? He used to he used to run up my crib when we were in high school. Oh, that's I, not I, the truth. But your garbage. Wait, no, look, no, grammar school, and trying to figure it out. <laughs> school, garbage. Ask Tony oh, McCoy. Not true. Garbage. Not true. College. Garbage. Oh, boy, wow. Yo, when I shut it down, he, he started making his move. Oh, okay. <laughs> he started making his move. He started dominating. Do what he do. Oh, the tournaments, this and that, you know what I'm saying? And he earned that. He's right. a big legend. He earned it. 
Right. Um, but this nigga ain't got no level, so he can't <laughs> never be one of the best in Chicago. But he one of the best playground players in Chicago. <laughs> yeah, I'm, no, I'm Who's just there? see. What wait, level? we ain't talking about car. Is this you level? better stop talking about that guy. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey. You, you understand what I'm saying, Marcus? You know what I'm saying? So, so, prime example of the levels. But he history in Chicago, and you know what I'm saying? He he's he's history in Chicago basketball. Right. But the level's not there to be the best. And that's my man Hundred Grand. Love right, the devil. Right. Now we're no. now, now we're finna kick it. Right, right. <laughs> we gotta oh, get T, we gotta get T oh, Coy oh, on okay. too. Huh? We gotta get Tone on too, man. Yeah, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a holler at him, man. T Mac T Mac man need to be on the show, man. Right. Yeah. For you know, sure. Yeah, and I talked to Carl the other day. Carl, we trying to get you, man. Just let us know because we at seven o'clock. Man, he want to be on the next time. Y'all come on. He want to tell this story. I can't wait. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we he got gonna, you. he gonna he gonna have boy. It's gonna be I'm, a I'm gonna tune. I ain't gonna even. I ain't gonna I'm even gonna be with him. I'm gonna give you my levels. I'm gonna give you my levels. You gonna hear these levels. So All, right. All right. <laughs> All right. We he got. He facts you. about a lot of things about what he said. But it's a lot of levels to a lot of things in this town. It started in the streets first. I said, don't you know, like, we ain't talking about, we talking about basketball. No, we talking about basketball. Oh, <laughs> somewhere else. Oh, yeah, so. about no. about yeah, I said the play, we said the playground. That's the, that's the street. Don't say the street, say the playground. Oh, man, you know what you're talking about. You said in this town, we talking about the playground. Y'all crazy, man. Y'all crazy. But go ahead, man. Y'all go ahead and have a good old time, man. And man, be safe, I enjoyed this, man. You know, no I, I, you know, you if, welcome, if, 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 if you look, look, if it wasn't if it was for you, before I got over, right? They like, they twisted my arm, really right? Yeah. They twisted my arm, but only because of you, my man, my I man, did it. my man. What's up? You know what I'm saying? What's only because up? of you, because I told my hey, man, I ain't with that. I don't do the, you know what I'm saying? I don't okay. do that type of. I don't, you know right. what I'm saying? But how could I deny you? My man, my right. man, my man. Feel me? Oh, who is my man. What's up? Yeah, I can't never deny you, man. My man, much you know love, man. man. Go, go. Big yeah, bro. Man. Big Absolutely. bro. Absolutely. All right, man. Enjoy, man. I love you guys, man. All right. Take care. Go, go. Yes, sir. Peace. Right. Peace. Hey, Peace. hey, next time we got to keep this bomb out my video. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. Man, man, oh, man. <laughs> Another good one, dude. Man, that was that was good, bro. Yeah, man. That was good. Man, I I just like that, man. Carl came on and just, you know, really, you know, told his story, man. A lot of things that a lot of us didn't even know, you know, just listening to him talk about the age and, and 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 how people was talking about him behind his back and and deals are being made and all this stuff man but man he did his thing man in chicago and that's one of the reasons why we wanted to do this all ball chicago again i mean like listening to the things that he did he only lost four games come on in the high school man come on man and man, I remember watching them play at Chicago State. So, you know, that's uh, that street ball stuff. You know, of course, playing in college, you get a little bit more structure. But in the streets, though, man, he was, murder was the case that he gave him, man, because can't nobody do nothing with him up at Chicago State in the summer leagues, man. man. I, you know, by me being a small guard, 6'2", I'm just like, man, I want to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Just think about this, Bob. He can shoot. He was quick. I mean, how you gonna stop that? And he was strong. Strong though. How you gonna stop that, really, man? You can do, man. He was a power guard before his time, man. Yeah, you know, and and for I'm just gonna say it. I know he wouldn't say it, but for for that to happen, not to get the opportunity to fulfill his ultimate dream was to play in that league. You know, man, it, it's a shame how 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 certain. And it's not just called just that missed that. It's a lot of players like that, man, that that didn't get that opportunity to really showcase their they talent on that big stage, man. And he's that, that, that little twitch, right, Liv? That little yeah. twitch. Yeah. And he's the, the twist of faith just go this way just a little bit. He he get that opportunity. Yeah. 
And he said yeah. it. I mean, he's like, man, I was still young. I was like, man, if I can't do the league, then, man, I might as well just go get a job. I mean, how do you go from playing with Dale Curry and all them dudes to go playing the CBA? Yeah. You know? He, that, he like, man, I'm with these dudes, man. I'm straight. You know? So I totally get it, man. I totally get it, man. Man, another, another good show, man. I ain't going to even say good. Another great show. Yeah, well, we just took a, we didn't, we didn't kind of uh, been down to one show a week now. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, because I done got a little busy, man. With yeah, some man. You got, you coaching, you're training, you yeah, man, man. Like, man, this man is like Jamaican. He called me lazy bum. You got one job, you lazy bum. I got ten jobs. But no, I, I, I love, I love what we're doing though because it gives that platform for people to come on and share their story. Man, who can tell their story better than them? You know, it's not you know, a the, the news media. You know what they do. You know? Man, I was good to see him after so many years, though, bro. You know. Right, before man. we go, you know, I got to let you let everybody know that the devices came in. If you can't tell, you see they got the uh, nice silver logo on there on the box right there. You know, it's a little sleek. And I'm actually rocking it right now. Uh, let me show it to you. It's black. And uh, it got the logo on there. So, but I was trying to show you this, though, Liv. Like, I was watching them coaches real quick before we get off. If you got to wear your mask, you can just throw your mask on over the joint, right? I'm going to tell you what, though. You need to turn that volume down. That stuff loud. Yeah, but it ain't. You know it work. <laughs> I'm going to turn it down. It's loud. Without, you know, sometimes I'll be seeing coaches on TV like I did the demonstration the other day. But if you got your mask on, you can have it up under there and you can just jab like that. So I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. You know, hit me up, man. I got a gang of these joints, you know. It's time to get it done. We're going to finish shooting the commercial next week. No, you got and, uh, we rock. You got them now, right? They they, got them. they in stock. I'm looking right at them right now, man. So, got 200 of them joints, man. 200. 200 of them. And I also got, you know, I wanted to give, I got 15 of them that I want to actually donate out to some of the top coaches. I would like for y'all to really, like, okay, I'm willing to donate them. But if you can, like, send me something, man, because I was going to try to do something for a needy family. So if you could just send me, like, $25, I'll go take the proceeds and donate donate that to a family and say, hey, this is from the culture brand. That we appreciate your support. I mean, you know, here doing a tough time. So, yeah, just hit me up. My cash app is uh, right there on the line. Hit me up, man, on, on social media, Robert Bobby Reed. But, man, we're just trying to do this for the coaches, man, and for the culture, the culture right. and the coaches. Right, man. Yeah, my, it looks like it's a really good uh, device too, man. That that uh, people can use, you know, especially now with uh, COVID, man. You can't really get too close, you know. You know, they want people to keep their social distance, and, and we know a lot of people are not doing that. They're still doing the same thing. So, man, we got we definitely got to be careful, man, with the with this, man, because <clears throat> we're losing a lot of people. We losing a lot. Yeah, of man. It's 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 um. You look at the NFL, man. Like they just going forward. They like next man up, next man up, next man up, because it's running rampant. But we got the we they got the vaccine here. You know, uh, they showed the plane flying in to Chicago the other day, bringing the vaccine. This is the vaccine to the rescue. So wow. you know, hopefully, man, we can get this thing cleaned up, man, and everybody can like you know get out and start enjoying the world a little bit more. And hopefully, we got a little bit better appreciation. Right. Right. Cause, uh, but again, man, it was another good show. We had the great call, go, go, ghost, you know, on our show. Phillips Finest was in the building with us today, man, tonight. And I see some of my people chimed in and, it, and they were like, he was funny, you know, he, but he was funny, but he was keeping it real, you oh, know, yeah. and um, that was just, that's, that's what, that's what makes Chicago to me. You know, people being real and, and you know, we always going to talk a little trash. You know, that's what Chicago, to me, is, is built off, man, you know, talking some trash. So, um, man, I, I, I enjoyed it, man. I really, I really enjoyed it. That's why I wasn't really talking that much either, Bob, because I wanted to hear his story. You know, I it, wanted- it was nothing. It was nothing for us to really say because he was rolling them off, dog. He yeah. was rolling it off, man. I was like, good stuff, dog. I was just like, damn. I didn't know that his numbers was like that. I didn't yeah. know that he dominated like that. Right. 
And then, then every time we get somebody on here live, I learn something new, man. That's some cold dudes from here, man. Man, man, man. man. Chicago, brother. Chicago. I mean, and 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 it's it's not. We got to get Steph on. We got to get Steph on Butler on, man. That's that's my. Let's go. That's my boy Dion's brother. Big bro, I've been hearing about him since I was a shorty. Cause like I told you, man, I, my sister dated a guy lived in the Robert Taylor's, and that's all they used to talk about, man. Stephon, uh, Butler, man, that boy Cole, man, where did he went to Butler? Uh, Drake, where did he go? Drake, Drake. Drake. Yeah, that's all they used to talk about, man. Oh, Stephon Butler, man, he cold, man. Bob, he cold, man. He got two little brothers cold, too. So I heard about the Butler boys when I was five, I was fifth grade. So, Dion, we got Cody. We got to get Stephon. Of course, we're going to get you guys back We on. didn't get Cody yet, did we? If we, we? We might as well just do the Butler boys. You know, they want to do it. All, they want to do it. Free. I'm gonna I'm gonna call D. I'm gonna call Earl and get him on, man. So, cause I think that'll be hot, you know. The button that'll book. be hot, man. Yeah. So we got Carl Harris. He wanted to jump on. We want to get Carl Harris on. And then I had the kid Jordan Ash that played at Northwestern. Uh, that's at Wright State, uh, who's gonna be interning with Will George Wilborn. He want to come on, man, cause he just want to tell his story to educate young college kids on making decisions. And Don't like because he cause basically he's saying. Don't jump the gun because you ain't getting playing time. Get that degree. You know what I'm saying? Finish the because if he'd have left Northwestern, he left he'd have left a quarter million dollars degree on the table. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That two hundred fifty thousand dollars to go to that school, man. Mm-hmm. You don't leave that on the table, man. You get that education. So that's like what Gogo was saying. Get the education. So right. that's what it is, Lip. I got to give me something to eat, boy. I'm hungry than the hostage, man. Dude, me too. All right, man. Well, go ahead and enjoy your night, man. And uh, go get that coach's device, baby. <laughs> go get that device, baby. I'll be sending you one in the mail, man. I appreciate you, man. All Ball Chicago. I'm your co-host, Robert Bobby Reed. And I got the legend, the NBA veteran, the McDonald's All-American. Your host, Marcus, living in the building. What you going to be on? Man, from, from hanging out with my boy tonight, I'm about to go get my go-go on. <laughs> I'm about to chill. Peace. Peace.